Hey guys, just want to show you guys that we're doing some corn today. I'll fill in the dryer bin up for the first time for the year. Corn's running uh, anywhere from 19 to 19 to 21, five, something like that. So it's it's pretty good. Um, one improvement we made to the bin site this year, we kind of put a drive over pit in sort of thing. Uh, we also bought a couple of augers to make that work. That auger right there is a 10 by 71. Uh, that's, brand, that's a brand new auger. We bought that brand new. This little jump auger here we bought used. Little hydraulically driven one. So what we did is we kind of, we dug a hole and we set three big cement blocks in to kind of build a little box around the swing, the jump auger. And then we had some, this is some I-beams welded together with a plate over the top. Um, that's kind of a bridge for this side of the tractor and the wagon and then the other side's pretty much on the ground uh, or on that block that's running that way you see the corn runs out it's that auger we kind of built the box around and it comes right up here, dumps into this, right up in the bin. So, I don't know, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, so we bought this auger brand new. We decided that it was, we were going to try and use our, our old swing auger, try and retrofit it because the, the actual swing hopper auger on that auger was shot uh, it was on not balanced it wobbled really bad so we ended up buying this little jump auger we were going to try and make it work uh, we just we just had to bite the bullet and buy a brand new auger this auger should last us a really really long time so far, I'm really, really loving this setup. I don't have to drag that hopper around. That really wears, wears the guy out. We also bought a another wagon. It's just a center dump wagon. Um, I have no idea what, we have no idea what brand it is, but a thing is built like a tank. And uh, probably holds about 400 bushel at least. So, anyways, we, our bin is almost full. We're just, uh, we had a, a little bit of a fix it on the corn head. Uh, one of the snoots must have stuck into the ground and bent it. We bent it up, so we had to switch that out. Uh, luckily, the, the dealer that we rent our combine from has parts and everything laying around, so we can always just throw a used part on. Um, this is probably, I think we're going to do one more load with the other wagon and then uh, combine enough to feed the steers for a couple days. We're going to switch back the beans, dry the bin down, and then we'll transfer uh, in the next couple of days. Try and get this all done because I get married on Saturday, so we're trying to I'm kind of stressed out trying to, I should be thinking about my wedding day instead I'm worried about all the farm work I gotta get done. But I guess that's just, that's just how I am. So anyways, thanks for watching, quick little update. Uh, we'll try and get some more harvest here in the next couple weeks. So thanks for watching guys.